Coming in with my first level 90, that is 90 fishing and a very nice 250 points as that is an elite task. This is where Endless Harvest really comes into its own. I'm basically just able to sit here whilst I'm working from home and racking up the XP. Probably get 95 today, I'd say. It's like 1 mil XP an hour, which is pretty ridiculous. So I'll definitely be going for 99 and the 25 mil task in fishing. There it is, 95 fishing for a very easy 250 points. First 99 coming in on the Trailblazer League and to absolutely nobody's surprise it is 99 fishing for 250 points. As mentioned I am going to be continuing on to 25 mil cooking but I need to figure out how many crampons that's going to take me because if I can switch over to barbarian fishing at some point um, that would be quite good for the passive strength and agility XP. Um, yeah, definitely won't need to go all the way to 25 mil here at Kwan Bonds, that'd be far too many. Just about managed to scrape together 60 crafting, which is really nice because I can now do you bird houses. Got 75 thieving so I could thieve from this gem store for 100 points and I've also now got enough cash to go and pick up my dragon scimitar, which will give me another 100 points when I wield it. Are you serious? I just got the stale baguette. It's not a task, you don't get any points. I've been hunting for this on my Iron Man. I think it's like 1 in one in 128 or something. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Oh, I'm really annoyed. I've just messed up the recording, but I did just hit 99 cooking. I did it all in one go. Uh, I was getting like over 8 mil XP an hour, which was ridiculous. I was uh, one ticking or attempting to one tick Karam ones all the way up to 99. My wrist is absolutely killing me. Has not hurt this much since they made Pornhub Premium free at the start of lockdown, but it's another 250 points so I can unlock my next relic in a minute. And I've had a look. And I definitely have more than enough crab ones for 25 mil cooking. So for the rest of the fishing up to 25 mil, I can probably do barbarian fishing, which would be nice for the agility and strength XP, as I mentioned before. Um, yeah, I'm definitely going to have plenty of food for the rest of the league, which is nice. And just about managed to cook those 100 sharks. That was my very last one. Still burning them on a range at 99 cooking, which I didn't quite realize. But yeah, a very nice 100 points there. Time to choose my fifth relic. To be honest, I think this is the hardest choice out of all six categories. It's between Botanist and Equilibrium. I'm going to be going for Botanist, I think. Um, basically, it speeds up farming. You get more herbs from your patches. Always make four dose potions, that sort of thing. Equilibrium is essentially just extra XP. But because I'm planning to do a fair bit of PVM, I think Botanist is going to be better for me. Um, basically, just means I have to do fewer herb runs, which is quite nice. And I'm hoping that I won't miss the extra XP from Equilibrium too much. But um, yeah, just one relic left to go now. And that is 25 million fishing XP for 250 points. I also ended up getting 74 agility and 75 strength, which is really nice. Um, that's all the points I'm going to be getting from fishing now. And um, yeah, I guess in terms of endless harvest, I'll start using woodcutting and mining as my next sources of AFK. Just trying to get my hands on a giant key so that I can kill Obor for like 50 points. I got a giant champion scroll, that is ridiculous. Nice little quest completion here, the Fremenic Isles, which gives me access to the Helm of Natus Knot. A few nice little levels as well, which is always nice to see. I think it's 100 points for equipping this. No, I got it wrong again, it's 50 points. Took me 10 runs to get the full angler outfit, which isn't too bad with a 1 in 2 drop rate for a piece. That is 100 points, very nice. Came to Demonics just to get one kill for the task. I will obviously be coming back here when my gear and stats are a bit better. That's an easy 100 points. Looks like I found the players that took the fairy's flight relic. All right, just finished up 100 laps of the Apatol Agility course. So I should be able to transform this into the second backpack for 100 points, which is oh, 50 points, there we go. 
Wondered when this might happen. I have stumbled across a dragon impling which will be a hundred points if I can successfully catch it. Which is really nice. Can we get anything good? Nope. But yeah, the points are more important. I've just completed the easy and medium Fremnik diary, so I should be able to get another task done by depositing an item using Peer the Seer and then using the higher of the two XP lamps. Just going to double check yet yeah, on prayer. That should give me base 60 stats as well for another 100 points. And I'm only two tasks away from being able to unlock my final region. So I'm going to go and try and quickly get two easy tasks done. Decided to do the two kingdom quests for my last two tasks as both of them do give 50 points. I am going to come back to kingdom once I've got some money after unlocking my next area. I think it will be a decent way for me to get herbs essentially. I'll probably, yeah, I'll do 10 workers on herb lore, 5 on coal I think. Um, anyway, most important thing here is I can now unlock Tyranwin. It's my final region so just need to start working towards the final relic I think. First gauntlet completion just trying to get a bit of money together nice to finish that one in under eight minutes for the extra points though can we get anything good for our first loot? Yeah this is what we're here for gonna be good cash. Wow that is really lucky I just got my first crystal armor seed on my second gauntlet completion um, I think the drop rate for that is 1 in 40 with the tier 5 relic um, in the Corrupted Gauntlet it's 1 in 16 so that is very lucky to be getting that. I'm really only doing the regular Gauntlet for money at the moment. I'll switch over to Corrupted once I've got slightly better stats I think. I genuinely can't believe this, that is my second armor seed in just 6 kills. I only need 6 of these to make the full crystal armor set which I'm definitely going to be going for so very nice to be getting these early on I have to say. These things are like gold dust, very lucky to get this early on. It is definitely a task to catch a crystal impling so See if we can get anything. Oh, that is quite rare, and that is 250 points. That is incredibly lucky, and eight ran our seeds as well. Picked up a cuirass task, and uh, very pleased to see a leaf bladed sword on the ground there. That is 50 points once I've equipped that. Still looking for the battle axe as well. That is another task to equip that also. That is what I was looking for, the Leaf Bladed Battle Axe. Quite lucky to get this on my first task and only 23 left, so I probably won't be coming back to Kuras after this. That has got to be the freest 250 points just for dissecting 50 Sacred Eels. Very, very nice. Oh my god, my Crystal Armor Seed luck is so good. Cannot believe that. Just managed to squeak out one Corrupted Gauntlet KC just for the 250 points. I'll probably come back to this a little bit later on, but wow, three out of six now. Third 99 coming in, that is wood cutting done and dusted for 250 points, at least until I uh, go for 25 mil. Close to my sixth relic now, so just need to bash out some quick tasks for the last 380 points. Well, it was a pretty slow cape. Nearly took me an hour, which is uh, very poor. But I did get the fire cape, and that is 15,000 points on the dot. So I can unlock my final relic, which is going to be draining strikes. What is going on with my gauntlet luck this league? I just got the young lift pet on my second corrupted gauntlet. That is a very easy 250 points, and that is very cool. Um, yeah, I'm going to be doing a bit more Corrupted Gauntlet to try and get the last three armor seeds and get weapon seeds so that I can start using crystal weaponry alongside the armor. That is really cool. Well, there we go. That is number four on five Corrupted KC. I could well get the full uh, armor set before I even get a weapon seed at this rate. Hey, just finished the task for completing the Corrupted in eight minutes and 30 seconds. I wasn't expecting to get any of the time tasks with my current stats and gear. Well, current stats, so that's pretty good. Can we get anything from the chest? <laughs> oh, it's back to back. Five out of six. Ridiculous. And there we go, that is the weapon seed. So three items back to back, I think. Very nice, just the one armor seed left to go. Quite pleased with this, managed to do the Corrupted in under seven minutes. There is one more time trial for five minutes, but that's gonna be a lot tougher to get, I think. 
Hey, there we go, that is Armour Seed number six. It took me 21 to finish it off, but that is still really lucky. I do now have the crafting and smithing levels and the crystal shards needed to go make this, so let's go and put it together. Okay, six armor seeds. I think this will get me a decent amount of experience. I'm just going to be very careful not to make more than one of these. So that is the helm, which is a task for 100 points. The body. And the legs. And I think it is also a task to wear them as well. Yeah, 250 points there. Very nice indeed. Looking forward to testing this out at Zora. And that is it for another Trailblazer video guys. Hope you have enjoyed it. It's a relatively condensed one again I guess. Try to pack in all the best bits and take out some of the fluff, the boring tasks. Um, if you did enjoy it feel free to drop a like. If you want to stay up to date with the next video which I imagine will be coming in the next week or so. Be sure to subscribe and uh, until next time take care.